Hi guys and welcome back to my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. Now if you're a subscriber you should know by now that I'm in the middle of converting the Mercedes minibus mobility uh, bus from a bus into a fully fledged motorhome and this will be a full home on wheels by the time I'm finished with it. If you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and have a look through all of my other videos as well. I've already converted five different vans on my channel, this is going to be the sixth and as I say I do document everything job by job so have a good flick through the previous content on my channel, hit that subscribe button and follow along with this conversion as well. So today what we're going to be doing is fitting new flooring throughout in the minibus. As you can see I'm down to the bare chassis all the way throughout. No flooring in at all whatsoever because it's all been ripped up and it's all been broken down and sold on. So now I'm down to the bare chassis it means I'm going to have to start building the new flooring up from scratch. So I've went out and got some 12mm external grade plywood. These are all going to get cut to lengths as you can see I've done with a couple here just to uh, crack on see what it's going to be like to get them all fitted in. They're going to be pretty much full width lengths that are going to be going in. They're going to be needing to be supported. So I'm going to be cutting some strips of the 12mm ply as well and running those across as well as supporting brace strips. The strips are going to be getting screwed to the aluminium on either side and I'll try and get them screwed to the main chassis beam as well. And then the main planks will just then lie on top of those. Then it's going to have a full layer of insulation on top of that plank in between the beam rafter. Then there'll be another layer of uh, ply on top and I'll be able to get the proper flooring, like the final finished flooring, laid on top of that. So lots to crack on with, as I say I've got another one, two, three, four, five, another six beams just to actually cut the ply out ready to, uh, to get it laid in. As I say I'm going to have to cut a few more of the supporting strips as well, not all of the actual beams need them, some of the beams are uh, edge to edge so the ply will fit nicely in between the two, other than the going up against a flat edge and that's where I'm having to put some of the supporting strips, like as you can see on this one it's got a full strip going the full length with a board sat on top of that as well. Now all of these boards are going to be getting uh, treated with weatherproof painting and after that I'm also going to give them a coating of wax oil as well because these are going to be the base boards, these are going to be facing the floor so these are going to be the most exposed boards when the actual bus is going to be in transit. If it's any wet ground, any spray or anything is going to be kicking up onto these boards so these need to be the most protected out the lot. Now when these are all laid in, if there's any small gaps either side, I'll get some expanding foam and fill all the way around. So ideally, by the end of it, every single beam in between the rafters are going to be fully sealed up with the plywood, fully secure and uh, pretty much watertight with all the expanding foam all the way around it as well. And as I say, the boards are going to be fully weatherproofed and water treated as well. So I shall crack on, get some more boards cut down to shape get them footed into place and hopefully by the end of this video we should have most if not all of the flooring pretty much done. Now I will be stopping halfway through to do a few more bits underneath the van because obviously any bits that need doing under the van now's the best time to do it while I've still got full access. So I'm going to be working from the front back, I'll probably be stopping when I get further towards the back, fitting my water tanks, things, things like that and then I'll pick the flooring up and get it all laid in from there on. But as I say, that'll all get covered within this one video, so I'll get cracked on. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have some nice shining, brand new floor laid down, fully insulated, and ready to start building on top of.
Right, so now all of the boards have had a full treating of weatherproofing paint and a full smothering of wax oil as well. I've left them all for a couple of days just for everything to dry up. And now it's time to start getting them all laid in. As you can see, I've just put, uh, got the first one in there just to make sure it's all going to be going in fine. I've started laying down some of the battens for uh, where the boards are going to be securing onto. And as I say, now it's just a case of getting them in, getting them all secured down, getting a layer of insulation laid on top of them, and then we can get the top layer of the flooring in. So it's coming along nicely. That's it, I'll crack on. I'll just continue with the boards going all the way down. Right, so that's pretty much all the flooring down now, barring one uh, panel there that I've left off on purpose, just so I can get into the water tanks to put all the water fixtures and fittings on. But all the other planks are down now, so the only thing left to do is to start filling in the small little gaps at the edges. And that's just because I couldn't get the boards going directly edge to edge, just because of this overhanging lip uh, from the rails. So obviously the boards have to be cut to be able to fit inside there. And that's just left a couple of centimetres each side of the board. So I'm just going to run a full bead of expanding foam all the way along, along each beam rafter. Just to fill in that gap completely. If I see any other gaps at all in between any of the boards, they're going to get a quick squirt into the expanding foam as well. And then once that's in place, it'll be okay to crack on and get the rest of the flooring fully insulated up. So that's it, it's coming along. All these floorboards, as you saw earlier, being fully treated with external uh, weatherproofing paint and then a good smothering of wax oil, a really chunky smothering of wax oil across as well which has basically just waterproofed the wood for longevity as well. So it's coming along quite nicely as you can see the bottom boards are fully weight bearing because I've been standing on these for the past week or two while I've been doing other jobs in the van so there's no issues in regards to the actual weight bearingness of these panels even though the top flooring, which will get covered in another video, is going to sit on top of all these beams. So there's still going to be very, very little weight actually getting transferred to the bottom. This is just more a case of being there to sandwich the insulation in. So I'll get the expanding form out, crack on, get all these gaps filled in, and that'll be the flooring pretty much complete.